Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese. As always, I got some plays for you today out of the Rams playbook. I've not touched the Rams playbook at all this year. This is the first video that I put out from them. Uh, last year, I put out a lot of videos. They're one of the best playbooks in the game, uh, but they were severely altered. They took out a lot of the plays, a lot of formations. So I haven't spent too much time into it. Uh, but like I said, I'm dipping into it now. I chose the Rams playbook. I really wanted to just show off one particular play, uh, which is a really good cover four beater. It's actually a natural cover four beater. The PA zone shot is gonna be the first play I show you. Uh, but that was in a lot of different playbooks. That was in the Raiders playbook, that particular play. Uh, the Panthers playbook, I could have made a scheme out of that. The Eagles, um, a lot of different playbooks have this play, and it's a really good uh, deep, like I said, cover four beater especially. Um, but, you know, I, I chose the Rams because they have the best um, plays to go with it, uh, essentially, as a really good uh, set of, you know, other plays to make a scheme out of. So I'm going to do that. If you run custom playbooks, I made some plays out of the Cowboys playbook already. I'll pop a link for that now. Uh, you can add that in, com in combination with this, and you have a really great scheme. One of my favorite formations for sure. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick the first play. Like I said, it is the PA zone shot. I'll start off by going against cover four. Uh, let's just go with uh, nickel here, just so I can show you how that works. It's very simple. There's not a lot of adjustments to make. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick cover four. Got to move the ball back So because uh, you, you're going to need room. You're gonna also going to need time. That's the only thing. You're going to need room and you're going to need time. So you're going to need protection. We're going to move it back. Uh, this is the one-play touchdown from like anywhere. So I'm going to move it back to uh, about the 60-yard mark. We're going to go deep here. Yeah, this play right here, you can run it just like this. What makes this play work is uh, you're rolling out, and it, it just makes that safety stop to the point where he, he reacts to you, and then you can lob it up over the top. I'll run it one time without the rollout, and I'll show you it's not going to work the same way. We're just going to go ahead, we're going to pass lead it, and we're just going to bomb it, and you can see he's got a safety on him. So you can't do it like that. Uh, the rollout is everything. Now, as far as everything else, um, you know, this. I guess your checkdowns are pretty simple and obvious uh, with R1 and circle. I don't find they're the best checkdowns. Is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bomb it up here again um, to walk. Like I said, that's just too easy. All you have to do is roll out, make that safety stop, and that's the play. You're not always gonna have the ability to roll out. A lot of times, uh, this defensive end might give you trouble, might slow you down, like here, and now you're kind of you're kind of stuck. So I find that the best adjustment to make is putting uh, Woods here on a drag so that you have a nice high-low concept uh, in the middle of the field. You can see here how um, they drop the linebacker drops down on that on that uh, that drag route. Your user uh, has to pick one of the two. I mean, this particular one only has one yellow zone, so you're going to have him stuck in a position where he's got to pick one of the two. And if he does pick the lower route, you got a nice big play downfield. It doesn't take as much time. Another adjustment you can make is you can put Woods on an out route, and the play will still work, or a comeback route, and the play will still work. Uh, but it's still all dependent on whether or not you can get outside here. I like to get outside, step up. I'm bullet passing and pass leading outside, by the way. I mean, that's that's important as he had to make the diving catch there. It wasn't the best accuracy. I don't think lobbing this is going to work the same way. We'll go ahead and we'll get outside again. And we'll try lobbing it this time. I don't know if it'll work that way. Yeah, it, it works the same way. I typically, like I said, I like the bullet pass. You're still leading it, though. You're still pass leading to the right. Uh, but that's the play. I mean, it's just it's just too easy. There's, there's really nothing uh, about it. You just have to have time. Like this guy here is stepping up in a spy, and he totally messes up everything. You have to have time. You have to have that edge. But yeah, really, I, you can't run this all game long. It's, it's a game. It's something you have to pull out of your pocket because if it's it's simply stopped by like this guy spying me here, uh, and I can't step up into the throw. It still worked out, but it can be stopped by that. Or it can be stopped by a blitz outside pressure um, it really is only effective against cover four too so and a lot of people are really running a lot of cover four these days so that's not a bad thing but that's why the drag is so important as your counter and uh, i'm also going to show you guys uh some really good plays uh as far as the scheme goes anyway so we'll go ahead and we'll move on to the next play like i said i chose the rams book because uh, there's there's a lot of good counterpunch plays rather than just that one play. So I'm going to say that the next play that I want to show, uh, there's a couple of ones here that I put out already. I'm going to go with the PA wide receiver, and this is probably the second most explosive play. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that, uh, and then we'll go, uh, we'll just go random nickel. Yeah, you can run the play just like this. Um, Higby here is a decent check down. He's going to create a little bit of spacing for circle there as your uh, as your last read. Um, as you know, he's uh, going to come open kind of late. 
Yeah, you can cancel this play action pre-snap or you can cancel it uh, after the play starts. Uh, but either way, you're going to have to cancel it one way or another. Um, as you can see, both of these coverages outside beat man. Pretty much everything on this play beats man. Um, you know, that's not something that any, you know, man coverage is just so weak. Uh, as you can see, the tight end here. That's one of your quicker reads coming across the middle there. It's a nice big catch run. I don't know if it's a very good tight end. But, um, you know, he's, he's getting the job done for sure. So I'm typically, like I said, cancel the play action. Uh, I'm really looking for the big play, which is R1, if I can float that up out there. As you can see, Austin had some room, but I got a little bit of pressure there. I would have liked to float that up and get my feet set a little bit better, but they're definitely sending some heat on me on the other side. So this here, we got the square out I see coming across, across deep. I think that was a cover four with a deep coverage from the linebacker there. You definitely want to have speed in the uh, slot there where Austin is. I had Cooper Cup, but that's not really what I want for this play. So here we go. That was a cover three. Square is going to be really good against cover three deep. Um, so that's really your read. I mean, like I said, man is really, everything's going to really be good against man. Cover three. Here we got cover three, but they didn't cover my man outside. So I just passed lead to the sideline there. So a lot of really good options here. A lot of really good routes. Um, like I said, this is a play you'd probably run more often um, against, you know, everything. Is I'm going to basically clean it up with a nice big play. Had to roll out a little bit because they were sending the heat, but it was there. So, yeah, this is more of a bread and butter play you could run uh, a little bit more often. Um, as you can see, uh, Austin keeps you beating outside as that guy's pulling up inside. Um, but this, this, this is a play you could run uh, pretty much you know consistently compared to um the last play uh which is really just a cover four beater so um this here let's see we got that drag outside it was just a bad throw that's all good though i'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move on another play i really like from this is the halfback stretch i know it's kind of simple uh but it's probably the best run play and i always want to mix in a run play when i do these videos so let's go ahead and let's pick that we'll keep going random nickel this play right here, I mean, it's just a good, um, you know, you have good blocking. You know, you have got about three blockers on the one side there. Um, I was expecting a little more of that. It's not a bad run, though. Uh, but we'll just go ahead and we'll run this a couple times. Uh, you know, this is, uh, stretch plays are really good for holding their blocks. You can see the second one here. I'm getting a much bigger play. Unless this guy catches me. Oh, man, I really could outran him. What was I doing? Screwed myself there. It's all good, though. I just thought for whatever reason, Todd Gurley might not have the, uh, the juice. Boy, man, he felt slow on that run, too. You can always flip this play. I'm not going to do it here because that, that defender has the outside shoulder, but um, it's 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 going to be effective nonetheless. You can see I'm just basically clearing and getting to the sideline there every time. That was a nice, you know, 10-yard run. As you can see, stress plays, for whatever reason, they just hold up blocking better than normal run plays to the edge, and it's, just, it's really effective. So I'll go ahead and I'll run it a couple more times. Um, hopefully we can get, uh, like I said, Gurley just doesn't feel fast. Uh, he's got the moves, though. He's got the moves like Jagger. So I'll get a couple more big runs. I would like to bust that touchdown. Now, now I feel like I was robbed. <laughs> I mean, really simple play. Not a lot of adjustments. Um, like I said, if they're, if they're leaving the backside open, you can flip it. But I've yet to see that opportunity. I'm going to try to get one good look at that. Um, they keep the like I said, they just keep having uh, outside contain. But you can see the left tackle gets out there anyway, even when I flip the play. That's not ideal, though. You typically want to flip it when they don't have the outside edge. Like something like a regular, if they're running like a regular four down lineman, but the Cardinals don't really have that because they're a three four team. Um, and three four teams typically have the edge, so um, I'm probably not going to see it look like that. I got to run it even when I don't. But 77 is a really good left tackle, so he's doing his job. Uh, but you can see I'm getting good five to ten every time. It's definitely a, a good bread and butter run play, it's, and it's, uh, it's capable of a lot more. So we'll go ahead and move on. So that's it for the first video. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be a part two. You guys got to let me know uh, by hitting the like button or let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see this, uh, see more out of this. I have some really good plays out of it. Uh, other than that, it's all on my Patreon now if you guys want to check that out. Link in the description below. Uh, if you want to see more Rams, let me know, especially because I did have a lot of requests uh, for the Rams. I just didn't necessarily have a lot of great plays. I was happy to find some really good plays out of the Rams so I could fulfill that. I don't want to say it's late in the season, but it's a little bit late in the season. Um, but uh, definitely got some good Ram plays coming. So that's that's it. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description.